Chester, we're going live. Yes, we are. Let's see who's going to follow us tonight. Who's going to follow us, Chester? We got a good cozy time bedtime story tonight, don't we, Chester? I'm so excited. Hi, Lily. How are you, sweetie? Oh, Miss Kimberly misses you so much. I'm so glad you tuned in. Hi, Hazel. How are you, honey? So good to see you. Oh, Chester's getting excited. Lily's in the house. Hazel's in the house. Oh, my goodness. Everybody's joining in. Armani's coming on. Oh, my goodness, Chester. Everybody's coming on. Look how happy Chester is. He's ready to have a party. Yay, party, Chester. Oh, he gets so excited when you all join in for cozy bedtime story time. Oh, look at him. This is Chester's exciting. He's excited. Oh, my goodness. Look at Chester. He's having a party because you're all signing in. Look at Chester go. He's so happy. I know, Chester. You love. Oh, I know. Oh, he misses you all so much. Can you tell? Look at him. Look at Chester. Look how he's, he's just having the time of his life because he knows you're all tuning in tonight. Hi, Paigey, honey. How are uh, Paigey? Paigey. I met Lydia. Oh, my goodness sakes, Lydia. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? Lydia gave us our wonderful book tonight to read. Oh, now Chester's so serious. Why so serious, Chester? You are just having fun. What's going on, buddy? He's so excited to see everybody. So I know you've all been tuning in lately. Um, you all know that Chester has been using Miss Kimberly's Amazon account shopping online correct we all know this was his first amazon purchase it's baba bob she baba sheep bob i should say baba sheep bob that's what chester named it look how big he is compared to chester yep and chester cuddles him every night yep um we got our santa pillow that he ordered this is what chester lays his head down to sleep every night because he said it gives him happy dreams because he loves Santa Claus so much. All right. Oh, see, do you see Chester? He is cuddling into Baba Sheep Bob. Look at, do you see him? I'm not kidding you. That is what he's doing. Look at him. He loves Baba Sheep Bob. Look at him. He cuddles him every night. But guess what arrived? Okay. Oh, Chester. Guess what arrived today on Amazon? Chester bought... The Holiday Sister Collection. Yes, he has a Christmas theme going on. Can you see how crowded we are in our bed because of all of um, Chester's shopping sprees on Amazon? Baba Sheep Bob, look at him. He's massive. Oh, look at Chester cuddle into him. Oh, Chester loves his Baba Sheep Bob. We have Santa Pillow. Santa Pillow, isn't he just cute? And today's Amazon arrival that Chester charged to my Amazon account is the Holiday Sister Collection. Okay, do you see that? Oh yeah, see Chester? Chester, tell me why you ordered this, sweetie. Tell me, why? Tell me. He wants it to be Christmas. Well, you know, Miss Kimberly's been listening to Christmas music in her car right now. Why? Because it brings me happiness and joy. And we all need that right now, don't we? Yes, we do. Oh, Chester is loving on Baba Sheep Bob. Look at this. See him cuddled into him? Oh, Chester, he was worth you shopping on my Amazon account if he makes you happy. I can't even see you because Baba Sheep Bob is so big. Okay, are we ready for cozy bedtime story time with Miss Kimberly and Chester? It's a good story tonight. Do you love ladybugs? Chester says that when a ladybug lands on you, it brings good luck. That's true, Chester. That is very true. I know you like ladybugs. So do I, Chester. You're so cute. Okay, so let's get to tonight's story. Here we go. Oh, ladybug girl. And the bug squad. Oh, look at her dress as a ladybug. I love her outfit. I can't wait for everybody to get here. 
yells Lulu. It's the first official Bug Squad play date. And Ladybug Girl knows it's going to be perfect. I know exactly the way I want everything to be, Lulu tells her mama. Well, her mama said, I hope it works out the way you want it to, my little bugaboo. Aw, that's her nickname. Isn't that a cute nickname? Oh, she looks like a ladybug, and look it. She has a chester, too. Just then, Sam comes bounding through the door. Bumblebee boy is here, he shouts. Next, Marley dresses up as Dragonfly Girl and skips in with Kiki in her Butterfly Girl costume. Everybody twirls around the room and shows off their wings and their capes. The Bug Squad is a team again, Lulu says. What should we play? asked Sam. There's the Bug Squad. You have a ladybug, a bumblebee, a dragonfly, and a butterfly girl. And they are called the Bug Squad. Bug Squad, of course, says Lulu. Let's go to the Bug Squat base. They pass Lulu, Lulu's brother on the way out. He doesn't like bugs, Lulu says. Lulu leads the group to a circle of tall pine trees in her yard. This is it, says Lulu. The low-hanging branches and the soft carpet of pine needles make the perfect hideout. I like it, Sam says. Oh, it smells good, says Marley. They set up their base. Bumblebee Boy, Dragon Girl, zoom off to collect sticks to defend the bug squad from all the bad guys. Let's go pick flowers and make it beautiful, says Butterfly Girl. Ladybug Girl says, Bingo, you stay here and guard our fort. So the puppy's name is Bingo, and he's going to guard their fort. When the base is ready, it looks even better than Lulu hoped. Now, we need a password to get into our secret hideout, she tells her bug squad. And I know what it should be. Ladybug, rainbow, unicorn. Ugh. Sam wrinkles his nose. No, I don't want that for a password. What about bingo for a password, suggests Marley. Remember, the doggy's name is Bingo. Yeah, <coughs> bingo, everyone yells. Lulu agrees. That's a good password. Now, what should we do, asked Kiki. It's time to show off our powers, decides Lulu. I'll go first, says Marley. Dragonfly girl, she breathes the flowers so I can protect us. Swirling her flame around, Marley adds, I can also toast marshmallows. Sam, he steps forward as the bumblebee boy. Bumblebee boy is as fast as lightning and will sting anyone who tries to get us. Did you know that Butterfly Girl has smart powers, quizzes Kiki. Butterfly Girl knows that the sun is really a star. And I can spell elephant, E-L-E-P-H-A-N-T, elephant. My turn, says Ladybug Girl. I have lots of powers. I can fly, I'm super strong, I can save ants, and I can even do a cartwheel. Her try was just a little bit wobbly though. Lulu leaps to her feet and says, follow me, let's go play. We can't touch the ground because it has hot lava on it. But there's Bingo, 
He's on the hot lava. Uh-oh. They're playing follow the leader, the bug squad. They suddenly cross over the lava, but now an army of giant bars are in their way. But those aren't bars. Those are sunflowers. Luckily, they they're asleep, and the bug squad can carefully tiptoe around them. So they're sound asleep. And there goes the bug squad, tiptoeing around them. We made it, we made it, yells Lulu. This is the best play date ever, she thinks, as she runs and jumps from Bingo and her friends. Everything is going just how she wanted it to go. They are flying and laughing when Lulu's mama calls. Children, bug squad, it's time to paint. It's painting time. Uh-oh, it's time to go paint. At the picnic table, they find a pile of smooth rocks, a stack of paper, and jars filled with bright paint. Now, it's time to make bug squad pictures, announces Lulu. Lulu, of course, paints her rock red with black polka dots. She is very pleased at how it turns out. Maybe it should even be in a museum, she thinks. Kiki paints her rock, rocks purple. This is Pluto. Marley is painting a pretty dragon playing soccer. And Sam is painting a picture of a robot fighting off a giant squid. Oh my goodness, they're all so talented. No one paints bug squad pictures except for Lulu. Hey, you guys, you were supposed to, Lulu starts. But then her mama comes over with a platter. It's filled with beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Mama sets the cupcakes on the table and lights the candles. Now, says Lulu, when I count to three, we all have to blow out our candles at the very same time. Okay, so they all have a cupcake and they all have a candle and she wants them to blow them out at the very same time. Lulu counts one, two, three, and blows out her candles. Then she sees Kiki's candle and it's still flickering. Lulu leans over and blows out Kiki's candle too. Oh. Lulu takes a big bite of her cupcake and then she notices that Kiki hasn't even picked hers up. What's wrong, Kiki? Lulu asks. <laughs> you blew out my candle, Kiki says. But I was just trying to help you, says Lulu. You didn't blow out your candle at the right time, Kiki. I didn't have to do it your way. I was making my own wish. And, and you just ruined everything. <laughs> she started crying. Lulu's stomach felt funny. She didn't mean to hurt her friend Kiki's feelings. She never wanted to do that in a million years. It's just that she was having so much fun that she didn't even think twice when she blew out Kiki's candles. Lulu just wanted things to be the way she had imagined them to be. Now that she sees Kiki is, is upset, Lulu wants her friend to know how sorry she feels. Oh, but what if Kiki doesn't understand? Then Lulu remembers that ladybug girl never turns away. When things get hard, ladybug girl knows what she has to do. Oh my goodness. Ladybug girl takes a deep breath and she says, Oh, Kiki. I'm so sorry I blew out your candle, Ladybug Girl adds. How about if we ask Mama to light yours again? Well, okay, Kiki says. When the candle is lit, Ladybug Girl says, 
You can blow out your candle now, Kiki, and make the most special wish. I mean, only if you want to, and only if you're ready. I, I mean, you know, just if you want to. I do, says Butterfly Girl, but let's blow out our, my candle together, because that's what friends do. When they finished their cupcakes, they decided it's time for a very important secret, secret, top secret bug squad mission. There is a mean, grumpy alien in this house, said Ladybug Girl, and we have to find out what this mean alien is up to. So up the stairs goes the bug squad to take on that mean, grumpy alien <gasps> who is Ladybug's brother. <laughs> and he doesn't like bugs. He's no fun at all. He's just a grumpy old alien that that bug squad is going to take on and try and make him love all those fabulous bugs. Goodbye, everybody. And don't forget, be a Bug Squad fan. Oh, Chester, that was amazing. I loved it. I love ladybugs. What was your favorite bug? The dragonfly? The ladybug, the bumblebee, or the butterfly. Chester, what was your favorite? Tell me. I know. Chester loves ladybugs because they always fly on top of his head and bring him good luck. Yes, they do. But as you know, oh, Chester, are you falling asleep already? Oh, Ch sometimes I... I He's stuffed. Is he real? But he must be because he ordered Baba Sheep Bob that's taking over our bed and Santa Claus pillow that makes him happy. And his newest purchase is the holiday collection of Holiday Sisters. What Chester is going to do with this, I don't know, but he's going to have, he likes Christmas. What can I say? I, it must be because I've been listening to Christmas music. It's gotten him into the spirit to buy all this stuff on Amazon. But look at Baba Sheep Bob. Look at the size of Baba Sheep Bob next to Chester. He's just massive. We have no more room in our bed. I'm not kidding you because the... Okay, what, Chester? Oh, no, Chester. Are you serious? You cannot... Be Chester, if you buy one more thing on Amazon on my account... Oh, you don't care? Well, that's not very nice, Chester. You better care. I don't understand the things that you're buying on my Amazon account. Are you falling asleep while you're looking at me? Hmm. He looks very guilty, doesn't he? Yeah, okay. We know, Chester. Oh, but Chester, I can't wait to see all the fun you have with a holiday collection of the sisters. So fun. Oh, my goodness. Oh, does your mom call you a little ladybug too, Lydia? I love that. That's good luck. You know that. Ladybugs are good luck. Chester's falling asleep, sitting up. What is up with Chester? You have to be quiet because he's starting to fall asleep. There he goes. So all my ballerinas fall asleep sitting up, just like Chester does. Everybody get cozy in your bed. And don't forget to have sweet dreams. Chester, you're still here with us. And don't forget to always dream of sugar plum fairies dancing in your head. Sweet dreams, all my wonderful ballerinas. Miss Kimberly loves you. And I promise you, we'll be back in our dance studio very, very soon. Chester cannot wait. Good night, everybody. I love you.